Welcome, Mr. Leslie Dawana from the National Fund for Municipal Workers. A few yes. questions for you for PIE Africa. Can you please brief, briefly introduce yourself and the National Fund for Municipal Workers? Thank you so much um, for the opportunity and the privilege. Uh, my name is Leslie Dawana. I'm the Chief Executive and Principal Officer for National Fund for Municipal Workers. So the National Fund for Municipal Workers is um, arguably the biggest local government pension fund in South Africa. Uh, we're looking at um, a membership of 55,000 uh, members and about 26 billion rands worth of assets under management. So if we to convert it in dollars, probably plus minus 1.5 billion dollars, obviously depending on the exchange rate. So essentially that's um, where I come from. So it's my, my responsibility talks to the, uh, the strategic direction of the institution, uh, the custodian of the investment policy uh, statement together with um, the board. So that's um, um, briefly about myself and the fund. Thank you. Can you share your best practice of how you and your team have made a positive impact on the growth and advancement of the pension fund sector in the country, particularly in relation to ESG investment? Okay. So I think the point of departure was the policy position that we've taken as a fund, that whilst we are interested in the, in the returns, we cannot, to, we cannot continue to do business as usual. So the companies that we even invest in must also understand that life is no longer about the financial returns. We need to address the social elements, we need to address the environmental elements, we need to address obviously the, the financial um, part, part of, of, of the, the, the ecosystem. But as I said, we took a strategic decision in the strategic position that uh, that is how we're going to do business going forward. So that's actually informed our investment policy statement and how we have mandated all our asset managers in terms of how they screen. So they must actually go include in their models uh, how they do the ESG screening and come back and report. We've actually added that in, the, in their mandates. But um, uh, uh, coming from, uh, back from the, the detail, coming back to, to the strategy position, uh, I think it is important that all the institutional investors uh, understand the need for consideration of sustainability. We cannot live for now. There are generations that must come uh, after us, which, must, uh, which we must hand over the button in a, in a good and, and, and sustainable state so that they can also continue. So our actions today actually determines what we're going to hand over to the next generation. So we cannot take that lightly and we need to make sure that that is attended to. So if we look at the issues, for example, of um, uh, uh, environment, the, the, the climate change, the issues of floods, the issues of um, uh, uh, cyclones, all those are issues emanating from climate change. But it's because the business and corporate world has ignored the effects of climate change for decades. Now we must deal with it because people didn't do, those who were in positions of authority couldn't address those issues, put policy, appropriate policy responses 10, 20, 30 years back. And now if we continue doing the same things that they were doing, the next generation won't have anything to inherit from us. So we have taken a conscious policy position that we must protect the future that we need to hand over to the next generation. Thank you. Thank you. 
How do you see the pension fund or alternative investment landscape in Africa evolving over the next few years? So I must actually say it is my view and probably in, in, and in fact the view of the pension fund that I represent. The economic development and economic growth of Africa is based and centered on the investments in alternative space. Uh, uh, we need to see a shift first in the regulatory framework uh, uh, for pension funds to be allowed to invest much or, or probably the, the asset allocation uh, shift a bit more from, from the current levels such that each pension fund should be given an opportunity to make a decision as to how much do we need to invest in alternatives. Obviously, uh, the issues of um, uh, liquidity and capital calls uh, uh, and, and you need to match your, your uh, liability profile uh, properly. But it goes without saying that alternatives actually provides a hedge in the total portfolio construction and provide the impact uh, that we need to see uh, going through uh, uh, people's lives, community and, 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 and society. And the, the, the performance uh, of, of alternative investments are actually less correlated to the performance of um, the general market. So whilst you're doing good impact and, and facilitating economic growth, you also hedging the performance of your, of your portfolio. So I see if, if pension funds actually get that concept right and, and adopt it, we'll see a big flow in the alternative space from the institutional investors. Thank you. Can you please share your experience on this year's PIA Africa 2023 conference? It was very fantastic, um, very relevant and appropriate conversations for today's uh, uh, era or for this era. We, the theme was actually um, uh, alternatives, ESG, and as I mentioned earlier, those are relevant conversations that must shift the conversations in the boardrooms in order to take the right action for tomorrow. I would say it was, it couldn't have been more relevant than today. Thank you so much for this insightful interview. Thank you. Thank, and thank you. you for the opportunity. Really appreciate it. Uh,